Um, so I have some pots here that I can use for an example. So there's the pot that I want to take a picture of. Um, of course, you want to decide if it should be a portrait or landscape. Um, and then if you have an iPhone, um, I super like to go on portrait mode. Um, you can play around with the lighting as long as you make sure that you're still representing the pot the way that it should be represented. Um, make sure you always click on your pot so that the light balances. And then hold your phone nice and steady and take your picture. Once you take your picture, I like to crop it so that the pot is the majority of the screen, like so. That's a little much, okay? You wanna make sure that it's even around all sides. Um, you don't wanna do like any crazy um, fancy filters because you want your picture to represent your pot. So, if anything, I go into just the editing tools and I go to exposure and sometimes I like to brighten that up a smidge. Um, and then sometimes I'll even go to brightness and brighten that up a little bit. What I wanna see is that this, the background is white, not yellow, okay? So once I've done that, I go ahead and save it. Double check to make sure it's how I want it to be. And then you're gonna put that um, in your pottery portfolio folder on your phone. It's kind of fun to play around with is if you do a series of pots, you can play around with how you want to display them or take pictures of them that best represents the work that you did. Um, and you can do this a whole bunch of different ways. So here we have that shot. Um, you could also play around doing stuff like this. You know, I think everybody, you know, looks at Instagram enough to know, um, or, or actually when you are looking at Instagram, kind of pay attention to how potters are displaying um, their work. So you can do lots of fun things like that. Um, I'll show you another one here next. So you could also do something like this. Um, you want to be careful that however you are doing it in our photo booth, that you're not getting these side, sides. Um, so you want to make sure that that white just all disappears. Um, sometimes, we t depending on the pot, is flipping your camera upside down and kind of taking a different angle like that. So here's that angle, like so compared to that angle. So play around with it. You can actually have a lot of fun with coming up with different like ways of taking pictures or pots. Make sure that it is focused, okay? We don't want any blurry pictures. So also, I'm not using um, a flash here. Um, so no flash, just our normal lights our normal lights are on. Um, I'm not using any additional lights. Um, our goal is, is to not have any shadows. So see how um, I don't really have any shadows here. We just want that background um, and the foreground to just be um, a complete like void. So no flash, make sure your camera steady. Um, make sure your pots are represented as they are in real life. So no crazy editing. Um, and then you wanna make sure that this background in your picture is white. And then don't forget to save it to your pottery, pottery portfolio because that is how I will assess you.